Today I'm going to be showing you how I edit my videos and I'm going to be making a tiny little, well, clip thingy I guess um, that you might have seen on my channel um, probably one of my mo most re oh, I can't talk one of my most recent videos and yeah so you want to go to um, add video slash photo clips and yeah I've added mine in so here you go and if it's the wrong clip like I just did there you just click on the delete and then you can add another one you can't see my files for some reason but yeah right so I've added my video in and just check if it's the right one Mm. <laughs> sorry I think that was a car um, yeah that's the right video so you're going to stop it and move your slider all the way to where you want to crop it so I want to start mine when the other dance starts there's loads of cars I think that's like a bike okay so I'm just going to um, yeah you can split it if you want to crop different sections of the video like I've done there so now I'm going to watch it, you can snip that bit off and you can just play around with this until you get it the right length you want and yeah um, so then you once you've done that watch it and check the it's how you like and I'll show you the next step once I know that this one's good to go all right so the next thing um, to do obviously is to crop it but don't skip ahead you should always trim it first because yeah well I don't know it's it's the easiest thing to forget I find so just trim the ends and the middle and make it what you want it to be so now you click on crop don't change the ratio otherwise it'll be really small on the screen if you're cropping it loads and just play with the four corners making it as big or as small as you'd like all right then yeah just want to make sure and then if you can see it's all cropped like that and you just want to crop all your clips like that type in the same number and just move it across to the same place it's a bit hard it doesn't have to be exactly the same but check you've cropped it to how you like by watching the video yeah so the reason I've snipped it in the middle is so it fits the music. Um, yeah. So if you need to fiddle around with the length anymore, then do. And we're just about to move on to the next step. I would recommend watching it a few times to check you've got it just right because I mean you don't want any mistakes yeah all right so I think I've got mine how I like it might just take a little bit of the end maybe since it starts the other bit of the dance and yeah but you want to click on effect and just look around and find one you like like there's glitch and you can click on play and see how it looks like with that on so I've never tried glitch. I don't think it fits it this time. 1977 would. For making it lighter, I recommend 1977. That one I'm about to click on that I'm not going to try and pronounce. Gingham, if I'm saying it right. Early bird has sort of like the light in the middle. And yeah, there's also black and white ones and there's just about everything then just watch it to make sure you like it all the effects you've added 
You can always play around with it at the end, but then you want to, as you can see, um, you know, the second clip doesn't have the effect because we haven't placed it on there yet. So you just want to click on that and then find the effect you used last time. And then hopefully both the clips will be the same. So if you drag it back and just watch it again. We're going to add the music or like sound effects in the end. Film 4 actually has a few free musics, but there are some others that you can record and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. You can't see me when I browse on YouTube because the screen recorder just for some reason it doesn't record web browsers and stuff, which is why you couldn't see the files earlier. But um, yeah. So you want to click on voiceover and open up YouTube. Then you want to search up some music you'd like. Um, once you've found the music, just play it to make sure it's really what you want. Move it so that it's at the right time that you want it to start, or you could just edit that and film forth. And once you're ready, click voiceover. Then, so obviously you'll click voiceover before you start playing the music. So then play the music as you're doing the voiceover and it should record the music. And once it's recorded the music, um, you want to just play the voiceover to the, you know, the video. Make sure you like it and you can trim the music and make it match the video. And yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to start my voiceover and I'm going to play that music and it will add to the clip even though you can't hear it since this is a voiceover and I wasn't recording as I was doing it so this is um about a day later um, but yeah so basically I record the music which I'm doing right now and then I stop it um, I normally record a bit over the video length so I can trim it if I want and then you just want to go out of it and trim the music so yeah if as you can see like if I scroll down there there's a lot on the end so I just want to line it up like yeah you just want to basically line it up with the beginning and trim it as much as you like like we trimmed it with the video so pull that back there and your clip should be just about ready. Alright, so there. That's a small bit of the clip. But I'm just going to trim it so it's how I want it to be. Move it across and lengthen it and stuff. So, yeah. That's good. Just need to add a little bit onto it. Normally adding the music is a little bit of just fiddling around. Um, yeah. Alright, and then just, I'm going to pull that longer now. And once that's done, you just see if you like it. And there's your clip made. So, I'll see you for another video. Bye!